Hey guys, and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. We are in the January transfer window, and originally I was going to do one more episode where I play games and then dive into the transfer business, but the votes have been pretty clear. There are clear winners of what you guys want me to do, so I'm not going to wait around. It's the 1st of January, and I'm going to strike right now. And regarding the transfers, you can check the straw poll link in the description below so you know it's legit, I'm not lying. But Chalhanolu won the vote. And Pato on a pre-contract is the right thing to do, according to you guys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alexander Pato, I'm going to try and sign him on his contract expiry. So he comes in next season, potentially to replace Mario Balotelli. Who knows, who will be going back to Liverpool, then maybe I should buy him back. Those are questions for in the, futures, uh, for in the future, but for now... I'm going to try and sign him up, an important first team player. Let's change the budget and let's try and get him in. The next one is a little bit more difficult. It's Hakan Chalhanoglu, you guys want me to get him. He looks like a fantastic player, but he's going to cost quite a bit of money and I feel like I'll have to offer in a player. I've been thinking about it. Montolivo or Homna are the two players I'm probably going to get rid of eventually. Montolivo is 30 years old. Um, if I could find Homna, he is 29. I don't know. I probably should go for Montalivo as he's going to decline. He's old and to be quite honest with you, in real life he's not been doing, doing too great. His 50 million value could help us uh, sign up Chalhanolo. I'll, I'll add in 10 million as well to that. Let's see what Bayer Leverkusen have to say about that offer. I've also been thinking about getting Boateng on a pre-contract deal because why not? It's not a problem to get him on a free deal. Uh, it's not going to cost us any money. The only issue I have is we've got too many midfielders right now. We're going to bring someone in. Um, the likes of Jose Mauri are growing fast. He's our future. I wanted to get Boateng in personally, but I don't think it's the right thing to do, especially at his age, 78 overall. He's not going to replace Bonaventura or in the future maybe Jose Mauri. I just don't think it's going to happen, so we'll leave that for now. And as I'm about to swap Montolivo in the deal with Chalhanolu, we've got an offer in, incoming for uh, Kaisuke Honda now. Although he's been pretty decent this season, I think it's time to let him go because Chalhanolu is the type of player that Honda is. Fantastic set-piece taker, but Chalhanolu is just better and eight years younger. I'm sorry, Honda, but for me, you'll have to leave. I do have a feeling that the sale of Kaisuke Honda is going to be realistic, but because I have a feeling that in real life... He is going to get sold in the January transfer window, so that's pretty uh, realistic in my opinion. As I reject my home country, Belgium, for a national duty, I don't think I'll be managing any international sides uh, this FIFA. We're going to do the training, of course, in the January transfer window. We're short on time, I'm just going to simulate it instead of playing it. From the moment we're out of the January transfer window, I'll do the skill games once again. And two A's in there, two D's, and a C is not the worst. And Paris Saint-Germain want to buy Jeremy Menez back for 22 million. I am never going to reject all offers for a player like Menez because he's a bit hit and miss. So I don't think he's the most valuable player in my team, although he's been pretty good this season. I won't deny that. But if they offer me 35 million, I'll happily let him go. And the good news is that Bayer Leverkusen have immediately accepted the offer of 10 million plus Montolivo. I thought a player of his age would cost a bit more than that. But I'm pretty happy. You know what? I'm not even going to bump up his wages. I'm going to give him that and a crucial first team player role that should be able to persuade him. And Pato has rejected. He wants 150k a week. We're going to have to find some middle ground there. I'll give you 120 because I like you. That's the only reason. I'm not going to give you the full 150. I feel like that's a bit too much for a player of his overall. Mines have come back at us with uh, 6.5. I want 7.5 for Kaisuke Honda because... You know, I want to get a bit of money for him. He's been in decent form this season. Hellas Verona as well. 7.5 is what I'm going for. Got some uh, worrying news here. Pato could potentially be joining Everton. So, I feel like I'll have to bump up his wages. I can't even wait for him to, uh, to answer to the 120k a week. I'm going to go full out. 150k a week. 20%. It's overpaying. But I have to take the risk. Because otherwise, we don't want to see him end up in the Premier League. Alright guys, it's time to play a game before we continue with the transfer business. I'm going to play the game against Bologna with this side, a very strong first team side I've got out there. Alex coming in to replace Eli. Um, Honda is playing in midfield, potentially his final game. Other than that, it's a pretty box standard side, a pretty good side. Let's get the three points. Welcome at the San Siro for the game, Milan against Bologna. We've been in pretty decent form lately, so I'm expecting a win here today. I also want to mention that you guys hit over 100 likes on the previous episode. If we can do that again, that would be awesome. Your continued support on this series 
is immense and I, I love doing these especially when you guys are supporting it the way you have been doing but these are league standings we're currently firmly on top of four point lead on Juve I want to keep that lead at least or maybe extend it especially against a team like Bologna at home we should really get the three points with ease Romagnoli needs to get there Brienza into tight air tight air looking for the pass down the wing they've got a chance here with Mancozu cutting inside he does extremely well past the Bate forces a good save from Lopez Menez out wide to Carlos Baca in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the defender he cuts inside on him well played by Carlos Baca he's going to try and get past another one Carlos Baca what a challenge he's given a penalty I have no idea why he's given a penalty right there is it Abate nothing happened I'm pretty sure nothing happened Lopez claims the ball he gets there he kicks Lopez and wins a penalty how ridiculous is this game getting nowadays it's been awful this year's game has been pretty awful. Thank God Mattia Destro misses, or whoever it was. Was it Destro? Oh, that's well played. Tight air on the volley. 1-0 down. No complaints about that one. The penalty was pretty bullshit, but that's a great goal from tight air. Maybe Lopez could have had that one, but once again, it's a good goal. Off the post. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Please, Abate, someone. Thank you. Should have been 2-0 down, realistically. What an awful half from AC Milan. 1-0 down, potentially could have been 2-0 down, should have been 2-0 down, if you're taking into consideration the penalty as well. I don't think we've had a shot. Now, there you go. Utter domination by Bologna. Not happy with the performances so far. Double substitution, Bertolacci and Nian coming on for Menez and Honda, who, have, in my opinion, have been pretty poor in that first half. We need to get back into this game. Abate, take a touch. Take a good touch, please, next time. He's going to look for Balotelli. Mario, I need a bit of magic from you. Balotelli. Out strengthens the defender. He's cutting back now. Balotelli looking for the pass. No one makes. I feel like nobody wants to score. They're just trying to hide and it pisses me off. Back into Niang. Well played by Niang. Can he make something happen? No, he can't. Instantly get tackled and closed down. It's it's awful. De Jong, I need you to win that one. Well played. Bertolacci now looking for Balotelli. Balotelli cuts. Instantly dispossessed. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to break them down. It's that bad. L look at this. All right, Abate, whip one in. Let's try a cross. Let's see if that works. Balotelli on the header. Good save. Going to whip one into the area with Bonaventura. Looking for Nigel, the young of all people. Bonaventura again. He's whipping one into the area. It's punched away by the keeper. Alex is on it. Alex hits the face of the defender. At least we're being dangerous now. Well, Mbai Mbai and Yang. A bit of light in this game so far from Mbai. Balotelli holds on. Looking for Baca. What can Baca do? He's going to try and turn his man. Oh, it's hard. It's really hard to get past them. And Baca gets dispossessed. What an awful game from Milan. Honestly. De Silio. No, we can't even get an attack off. That was extra time, apparently. I feel like the referee has been a bit against me, but that's not an excuse for the way we've been playing today. Awful. Actually awful. I don't think we had a shot between the sticks. We had one header that was semi-dangerous, but other than that, Bologna fully deserved the three points. And I feel like I'll have to sign a couple of more players, maybe 10, 11. Because if that performance happens again in the second game, I might as well just sell my entire team. Chalhanolo has counter-offered for 100k. I need him. I'm going to give him exactly what he wants. Please join us. And there we go. That is the confirmation. We have signed Alexandre Pato on a pre-contract. The first signing of this career mode is our former Brazilian youngster he's returning to the San Siro next season and when it comes to Jeremy Menez 27 million is an offer I will stall for now because I'm not sure if I really want to sell him and this is the team for the game against Roma it's time for redemption at the Stadio Olimpico because at that horrible loss against Bologna we need to forget about that as soon as possible this is the side Luis Adriano coming in for the very out of form Carlos Baca Pauli replacing Montolivo and Ellie coming in for Alex a pretty decent side let's take on the Roma team that hopefully hopefully hasn't signed anyone amazing yet well played Gervinho Gervinho is going to get the shot off off the bar early chance for Roma Luis Adriano getting away from Kevin Strootman with pace. He's cutting inside. Luis Adriano on his own. He's finessed that into the back of the net. Luis Adriano shows me why he needs to start ahead of probably Carlos Baca at this stage of the season because he's in awesome form. He just bursted away from the defenders and a calm and composed finish for the Brazilian that uh, is now on five goals in the Serie A this season. 
volley into Adriano. What can Adriano do? He cuts inside. Well played on Rudiger. He's going to cut past another one. What a goal. What a goal by Luis Adriano. Once again, just stunning. He's the man in form right now up front. And I need to start him every game. He's proven to me in just 20 minutes why. Volley down the wing. Into Luis Adriano. Who's been forced down the right wing. But he's... Ghosts past the players like they're not even there. He lines up for a finesse shot just wide. We've arrived at half-time, leading 2-0 thanks to a brace from Luis Adriano. But um, I'd say it's not... Yeah, look at that. That I was going to say that we weren't necessarily dominating the game. Yes, we had three shots and scored two goals, but we're just efficient. We're not necessarily dominating Roma completely, although we've kept them very quiet, only conceding one shot off the bar, which is not too bad, but... Um, I feel like I have to make a change in midfield. I'm going to go for Bertolacci instead of uh, Bonaventura because Poli is actually having a good game. I'm going to move him over to the right. We just need to keep a clean sheet and bring home the three points. De Silio into Luis Adriano once again in a bit of space right here. What can the Brazilian do? Trying to get past Maicon. He's done well. De Silio has continued his run. De Silio! Oh, what a finish from our left back. I was hesitating to shoot, but... You never hesitate inside the box, even if it's a defender. What a finish by De Silio. We're making it 3-0. An absolute whitewash. It's a great ball. Falke is in the area. Falke, pass one. Great save. And Lopez keeps the clean sheet. Abate is going to get there. No, he's not. Gervinho cuts inside. Great block. The rebound header goes in. 3-1. We've lost the clean sheet. Although we defended pretty well. I can't hold it against my team. And that's the end of the game. We've beaten Roma in the Stadio Olimpico 3-1. Pretty good result after a decent performance as well. Pretty happy with that. Shame we couldn't get the clean sheet. But all in all, if you look at the stats, it's really not a deserved win. The difference maker today was without a doubt Luis Adriano. But in the next episode, we'll have someone else that can hopefully be our difference maker. Hopefully he signs before the Fiorentina game so we can use him in that game. There he is, Hakan Chalhanolu, the actual first physical signing of this career mode. He's joining the team straight away. Manchester United have put in a bid of 20 million. A 135, Omenez is not leaving. 7 million bid from Heinz is going to get accepted for Kaisuke Honda. We've got a better free kick taker now anyway, so why not just sell him on? Make space for transfers for maybe next season, yo. You guys have left loads of suggestions but it's just not for now you know it's for next season maybe the likes of Witzel maybe Boateng um, for now we just want to keep the squad as real as possible with the addition of Chalhanolu of course that also means Montolivo has left the team unfortunately and of course to make sure that our new signing Hakan Chalhanolu is ready for the game against Fiorentina we're going to train the hell out of him before that game. Five training drills for our new signing to make sure he's in top form for that game where he'll be making his debut. It's time to play the training. And there we go. That's the training complete. Chalhanoglu getting two A's and three B's. Looks ready for his debut in the next episode. If you are looking forward to that, then smash the likes on this video. And we shall see, we shall see his debut soon enough. Another uh, transfer offer for Jeremy Menez. Just 35. Do teams... They don't get it, don't they? I hope you enjoyed the episode. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.